So yes, ladies, guess who got selected for round two of the Miss Florida USA pageant? <laughs> That's right. I competed twice for Miss Florida USA. And just like the first time, today I'm going to share my commentary for my Miss Florida USA 2002 pageant. Gosh, this was way back in the year 2001, technically speaking, which is when the pageant actually took place. I was 22 years old, and boy, was I ready to give it my all. I whipped my body into tip-top shape, selected more dynamite wardrobe, and practiced, practiced, practiced all the possible interview questions to a T. And I was ready. I was ready for those five magical days of glitz, glam, and pageantry. Let's check it out, shall we? Tonight we continue the tradition that is Miss Florida. It's pageantry, but it's our style, our way. As we take the first step to Miss USA. Hey announcer, kick it. From the city of Hollywood, it's the Miss Florida USA pageant. Now let's meet the contestants competing for the premier title in the Sunshine State. In the Sunshine State. In the Sunshine State. Yes, Mr. that was Director, me in the black hat. Ready. Cue the contestants. From the sound stages of Hollywood, let's meet tomorrow's stars. Hiroshima Kindling from Miami. Hiroshima Kindling from Miami. Hiroshima Kindling from Miami. Rachel LaFortune from Fort Lauderdale. So for this intro, we got to wear our own outfits. And I decided to wear the zebra striped pants outfit and spice it up with my black sombrero, which is the Spanish word for the black hat you see me wearing. And I was the only contestant wearing a hat for the intro. <laughs> That's me. I always want to stand out. You know, make a statement. Shima did not come. So yes, that's me standing at the far left hand side waving. Louis Aguirre. Our hostess is international television personality Idalmas Vidal. And so yes, the Miss Florida USA pageant is broadcast live, totally live. I don't think there was any 5 or 10 second delay like there is now back then in 2001. So whatever happened, happened live for the entire state of Florida to see. And gosh, for some of us girls who never done television before, this was some big deal stuff. I mean, imagine, we were told some 2 to 3 million people would be watching us live. Live! I mean, hearing that, I truly felt like a mini star then. And I was actually treated as such. As I explained in part one, it didn't matter whether I won Miss Florida or not because back home, my family, my co-workers, bosses were so proud of me. And even my local newspaper did stories on me just for the simple fact of me being in the pageant. I made my local newspaper with pictures and everything, you know, with the whole shebang. Pictures of me in my gown, and my Miss Florida USA article right beside it or underneath it. I made the Miami Times like three times, I believe, and the Miami Herald once. The Miami Herald, which is the biggest local newspaper here in Miami, by the way. So yes, what you're seeing now are the top 15 girls that have been called. And I'm there in the pink cocktail dress to your left-hand side cheering on. From Jacksonville. I mean, on my second try for Miss Florida, ladies, I already understood there were other moving parts that got you into the top 15. 
it, it's just stuff that I observed from the first time I competed. So not being selected again didn't really surprise me. But again, I was just honored to be there, you know, that the Miss Florida USA pageant chose me as one of their 31 finalists yet again to grace their stage, in which I did. toughest competition in the sunshine state okay so what i'm showing you here is one of the top 15 with her sarong again we had to practice practice with those sarongs it sounds easy to untie the sarong and sashay with it down the stage but some girls got it wrong sometimes that sarong is tied too tightly and it becomes difficult to untie so yes the top 15 have their sarongs draped over their shoulders they're wearing their solid color blue one-piece swimsuits and looking down at the judges and the audience below. This is me with my one-piece solid color swimsuit on that I chose for the preliminary part of the competition. Remember, for the first Miss Florida pageant, I wore my lime green shiny one, but this year I decided to wear something a bit more toned down and got this ocean blue colored one. I whipped my body into even better shape than ever before and had my hair freshly permed. I was doing my thing and just giving it my all, you know. You can see that I too was looking down at the judges and just look at that. The American flag behind me with its shiny stars, just having a great time. And the first order of pageant week was getting acquainted at O'Hara's Jazz Club in downtown Hollywood. The food was outstanding, the music great, and our contestants felt like pageant royalty as every attention was placed upon them. And you know we love to be pampered. I love jazz, but it's early to bed as the pressures of pageant week are just beginning. So I remember the Miss Florida pageant assistant calling me and explaining to me what I had to wear for the skit. It was going to be about golf and to wear what I might wear when playing golf. We are at the final hole of the Hollywood Beach Golf and Country Club. Up on the tee is Hiroshima Kindlin. Oh, those were exciting times. I mean, I love to do acting, you know, and had dreams for a while about becoming an actress. So this was a humongous deal for me. And I just threw myself into character as best I could. After a very tough day at golf, our contestants enjoy their evening at beaches at the Holiday Inn Hollywood Beach Resort. You know, when I watched this part, I completely forgot that I did this segment for the pageant. I completely forgot about that cute, sexy dress I wore. I completely forgot how I wore my hair. I mean, it was such a treat to see this again. Such a treat. After a very tough day at golf, our contestants enjoy their evening at beaches at the Holiday Inn Hollywood Beach Resort. They checked out the tropical setting, did a little sightseeing at the beach, and then enjoyed a fantastic meal. Once again, these women were treated like the bells of the ball. But they better not eat too much, because tomorrow is the much anticipated press photo day. Ah yes, press photo day. The traditional day of posing for photographs and interviews with the international press. And the Comfort Inn pool is the perfect site for the festivities. With so many different looks of beauty here at Miss Florida USA, a photographer can have quite a field day taking pictures. They are hardworking members of the press after all. As the ladies said goodbye to the photographers, this week isn't over by a long shot. Goodbye to the photographers, this week isn't over by a long shot. This week isn't over by a long shot. And there's Shima in the tropical colored swimsuit. So when I look at this coach, this bus, I remember us doing a lot of takes on it. You know, going around the block over and over again just to get the right shot. Comfortable and on time. And in a contestant's life, timing is everything. And so for this year, Miss Florida USA 2002, I decided to go with black for my gown. I just love the structure of this gown. It had this see-through V-shaped design at the front with little sparkles and everything going down the chest area. And it also appeared on the back side as well as under the armpits. This gown accentuated all of my curves and the hard work I put into getting my body into the best shape of my life. 
I wore my hair in a huge shima bun before I knew that one day in the future, I would name a protective style after me called the shima bun. I just felt it highlighted all of my best features in combination with my dress. Tonight we have five contestants with master's degrees, two with law degrees, 12 contestants entering their senior years in college, and we even have a vice president in the corporate ranks. So yes, one day you may be working for one of these young women. And so that's me coming up in the center with the red and black dress modeling for a fashion show. I believe the pageant was invited to this fashion show and there were different designers there and we were giving a designer's outfit to model for them. I'm, I'm modeling my own dress there, but later in the show I modeled this cute shorts outfit by one of the designers. And I put on quite a show. I did this Michael Jackson dance where I kind of grabbed at my crotch, pumped my waist back and forth. <laughs> you know, like Michael Jackson does on stage, and the audience went wild. That was another Shima back in those days, I tell you. I think I'm much too shy to pull that off now. And the designer that gave me this outfit to wear, oh my god, he couldn't stop screaming with joy and telling me how happy he was that he gave me his design to wear because it caused the most commotion after my Michael Jackson dance. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was just having the time of my life. The time of my life. <laughs> okay, so we're almost at the end of the pageant where they select the top five. Oh, and by the way, the girls that did not get selected... Well, we were all backstage watching the pageant on the TV screen they had back there. Sometimes I remember peeking through the curtains, though, and watching from there as well. So this time, I'm to your far, far right at the end of your screen. They're about to announce the winner. And there is Shima! Congratulating the winner! You can tell by the black dress with the sparkles on the sides and the back. <laughs> yes, her crown fell down. Now, even though you've heard me say that I was simply honored just being the Miss Florida pageant, I do need to add that a lot, and I do mean a lot, of people at home, at my job, and even at the very pageant couldn't believe it when I wasn't chosen, you know, as top 15. And even less that I didn't win the crown. For example, some of the camera crew workers at the pageant said to me as I was walking down the hallway on my way out, you know, it was the last day and, and I was basically going back home and they said to me, you should have won. You should have won. And my boyfriend at the time had told me, you know, after I got done explaining to him about the pageant and stuff, about everything I went through, he said, I think those Miss Florida people made a big mistake. A big mistake you know he was feeling some kind of way of me not winning the crown or even being selected as top 15 either and my boss at work which was a lady you know she was just shaking her head and she was saying after she said including me she said so many well-deserving black girls were overlooked so many you know in regards to not making top 15 either so you know she was she was happy for me but she was disappointed you know that they overlooked so many well-deserving black girls that could have also made the top 15. and and she was right it was a 22 year gap before they finally crowned another black girl which was in 2009 and 1987 was the first time that a black girl was chosen and then they wouldn't crown another one for 22 years like i said up to 2009 so yeah yeah she was observing things that i was also observing you know <laughs> and so those were just some of the things the people i knew were saying in regards to what they thought about the pageant they were absolutely flabbergasted just flabbergasted you know that i didn't at least make the top 15. <laughs> But that's all I'm going to say for now. Re remember, ladies, remember that God likes to test us. So I take my experience, no matter how challenging they are, you know, as a test. I learn from them and move on. And as I explained in part one, I did move on. Because just six years later, I created my own company, Kashi My Hair Inc. 
and Mashima Oil was born, <laughs> which is the very first hair growth product for Mashima Hair Growth Line. The hair growth line that has been helping a woman of color from all over the world grow fairy tale mythical hair and maintain their fairy tale mythical hair after the fact. And even if some of the ladies don't desire hair to be that long, you know, they do desire healthy hair. And that's what Mashima Hair Products has been helping them accomplish as well. All on Amazon now, ladies. All of Mashima Hair Growth Products are on Amazon, which means now all of our black women can get Mashima Oil Twin Pack, which comes in two, you know, two eight ounce Shima oils to make that hair dryness disappear once and for all, and which should last you on average anywhere from four to six months. If your hair is shorter length or shorter, it should last you on average anywhere from four to six months. And on Amazon, I, I also have my 8-ounce Shima Hair Repair Shampoo and Leave-In Conditioner Set. So you can get those together, the 8-ounce Shima Hair Repair Shampoo and 8-ounce eight, eight Shima Hair Repair Leave-In Conditioner, you know, on Amazon. And get ready to repair and detangle your hair like silk. And it's true, my Shima Hair Grow products are known for wiping our hair dryness on the spot, detangling our hair with ease so our hair combs and brushes can glide through our hair like silk. You know, my products are known for repairing our hair, moisturizing our hair, and growing our hair past shoulder length and beyond. And as you know, I'm currently on my One Year Shima Hair Growth Challenge, and I'm using my own products to grow back my hair. And I'm documenting my Shima Hair Growth progress so that everybody can see just how effective my Shima Hair Growth products really are in real time. So once more, I did not let myself not winning a pageant deter me from the real destiny God had in store for me. So don't you allow for anything, anything to deter you from your destiny, Shima girls. Oh, and one more thing I would love to do before I end this video is to thank my father from the bottom of my heart for providing the financial support, as well as his eternal love, of course, to help me with the application fees and all of the wardrobe fees I needed for my Miss Florida pageant dreams to come true. So thanks, Dad. I learned firsthand that participating in a pageant, especially a state pageant, you know, can run you into the thousands. The application fees and those gowns is usually the most expensive part of these pageants. And for my family at that time, in the years 2000, 2001, it was a financial sacrifice, a sacrifice. But my dad made it happen for me because he knew how important it was for me and he wanted to make his little girl happy. So again, thank you, dad. <laughs> you know, I really want to acknowledge my dad because without him, I would have never, ever had this magnificent experience and memories. So again, ladies, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy my second Miss Florida commentary and see you in the next one soon, Shima girls.